all right thanks for coming back to shooting it straight i just thought i'd do a very quick video regarding uh proper maintenance procedures and today i'm going to focus on cleaning the walls of this chamber out inside of here now i've explained before that uh, after a while the fouling in there will build up and every time that case every time a, a, a round is fired that case will swell up and when it does it presses a lot of that uh, fouling and debris up against the case walls there and after a while it burns onto those walls and you have to get that stuff cleaned out and keep it cleaned out or you'll have problems with uh, ejection and you'll have feeding problems because it'll have too much crud built up in there pressed up against the walls burnt onto the sides of the walls and uh, you'll, it'll be too tight basically so we're going to take care of that now now in so far as how often this should be done well that you know that depends I don't know um, I really I, I really make sure about every 500 to a thousand rounds that I really really get in there and clean that out now if you during your normal cleaning process your normal cleaning process with your bronze bristle brush cleaning it and you pay particular attention to that chamber whenever every time you clean it well you won't have to uh, do it as often then but if you've let it built up or something build up or something then about every 500 to a thousand rounds you probably need to go in there and scrape that stuff out before you start having problems now this one you know i keep uh i keep all of my guns very very clean very well maintained so this is not going to have any problems like that but i'm going to quickly demonstrate it i'll do it and uh I'll, I'll do a short version of it okay I'm going to take a uh, just a Q-tip swab and some bore solvent, and basically all I'm going to do is put that bore solvent in here in the chamber. We're not doing the barrel, just the chamber, and I'm going to let it start breaking up that fouling, breaking it up and lifting it up. Well, see, but it's still caked in there. So now that that's done, or done sufficiently, and you can wait another few minutes if you want to, but I'm just trying to hurry up and get through this. This is just a plain 45 caliber bore brush, bronze. And I don't give a damn what anybody says, bronze bristle brushes will not harm your barrel don't listen to them if they say that it will they're wrong no need to go super fast move it around Sure that, make sure it's getting everywhere. Alright. Now, let's assume that that's sufficient and we're done with this. We can remove this. that now we're going to we're going to clean out all of that uh, loosened up fouling all that fouling in there that was caked up that we just loosened up with that bronze bristle brush and we're going to clean it out of it clean it out of there
Jeez, I guess mine needed it more than I thought it did. Alright, clean it out. Alright, now I'm going to run a dry one through there to get any uh, residual bore solvent out of there because I want it dry. Because what I'm going to do now is do a little bit of polishing on it. Now ideally once you once you clean it out like this and dry it out, probably want to go go outside for a minute, take a smoke break and let it really air dry and completely dry up. But I think this is good enough. Now, we're going to polish that bore or the chamber rather, not the bore but the chamber. And we're going to use flits. And again, there may be some other polishes out there that have some abrasive compounds to it, but Flitz has no abrasive elements or compounds at all. It is not going to remove any material. And all I'm going to do, and, and what I'm trying to tell you is it, it, it doesn't take much, all right? You don't, you don't need to saturate anything. Just a little bit. Is really all it takes. It doesn't take much at all. This tube, and I've been using flits for 40 years. 40 years. 4-0. And this tube right here has lasted me about, well, probably five years. And we're just going to basically do the same thing as we as we did earlier. It's a good polish. You're not going super fast. You don't need to. I know you're not going to be able to see in there and I don't have the uh, it did pretty well pretty well not bad at all missed a couple of spots down there But anyway, that's what I do about uh, about every 500 to 1,000 rounds. I make sure that I take a bronze bristle brush and clean that stuff out good. Clean it out good and then use some bore solvent. Get all that stuff up out of there. And then hit it with just a little bit of flitz polish right there and polish it up. You won't have any failures to eject or, or failure to extract or failure to feed because of a dirty chamber now. Okay, well that's just a tip for you. So uh, listen, thanks for watching. Um, watch for my next videos because I'll be shooting it straight there too. Ciao boys.